Let us compare the postcard prices. And when I say comparing, I mean postcards being sent from other countries to my little area here in Asia, which is of course in Macau, China. Let's start with my own country and other Asian countries. Look at that. Look at all those beautiful postcards. Let's start with Macau. To send postcards from Macau, the regular price is about $5.50 and that's for regular postcards such as these. So this is one of Macau's postcards. But for other more special postcards such as this beautiful 3D postcard, this would cost, oh look at that, look at how beautiful that is. Look at the fireworks just going off. This would cost $7.50 MLP to send out. Both of them are still under US $1. It sounds cheap, right? It's not bad. But Hong Kong is actually cheaper. Postage rates in Hong Kong are so much cheaper than Macau. Even when they have increased the prices this year, to send a postcard up from Hong Kong, it used to cost about 3.7 Hong Kong dollars. But ever since they increased their prices, now it's about 4.90 to send one postcard out. That's still about 60 cents less than sending postcards out from Macau. Now let's go to the Philippines. So with the Philippines, look at those beautiful postcards that I have received. This one I particularly like. I like the brown color of this postcard. Look at that, that's absolutely beautiful. How much is it to send a postcard from the Philippines? It costs 15. There's a price there. And then this one here has got three stamps of five pesos each. To send out one postcard from the Philippines, it only costs about 15 pesos. How cheap is that? Unbelievable. All right, let's look at this beautiful one from Bangkok, Thailand. This one has similar postage rates to the Philippines. So this one also costs 15 baht to send over to me. That is absolutely cheap, isn't it? Look at this other Pattaya one. This is an area just about two hours from Bangkok. It's a very popular destination as well. But this one also only costs about See, there's a 13 and there's a $2 stamp, so that only costs about 15 baht to send over. <sighs> Unbelievable. Now let's go to Malaysia. This beautiful postcard from Malaysia costs about 150 ringgit. There's a 1 ringgit stamp and there's a 50 ringgit stamp. Next we have, look at this massive postcard. This is like as, as big as my face, bigger than my face. This massive postcard is from Singapore. Let's compare. Alright, so that's my postcard. The, the gigantic postcard. The back of this postcard is just really lovely. Look at that. So this one costs about 70 cents Singaporean dollars. It's not a bad price, I think. Next we have Japan. Everybody loves Japan. It's very cheap to send postcards from Japan. I went to Japan three times last year. And this was right after I would started snail mailing and pen palling, so I sent out a lot of postcards. So this here is a regular postcard. Regular postcards from Japan cost about 70 yen to send out. And these are usually the standard postcard stamps. That is 70 yen, okay? But take a look at this one. Beautiful, isn't it? This is a shaped postcard. Actually, both of these postcards belong to my daughter. I sent her some postcards when I was in Japan. So again, this is 70 yen, but a shaped postcard is... It's 220 yen. 220 yen. That's an extra 150 yen on top of a regular postcard. When I found out that the price went up so high, I was like, seriously? Fine, it is only slightly thicker than this one. But I think it's because of the odd shape of it, that's why it's more expensive. So those are the only Asian postcards that I have. Let's move on to the next batch. This is the European batch. So let's take a look at them and let's compare prices. I'm gonna go from low rate to high rate. This one is from Italy. Look at that. And I think out of all the European postcards that I have received thus far. Um, the cheapest postage is from Italy. Let's take a look at that. 
all right so apparently it costs about 85 euros to send from Italy to Macau next up we have da -da -da, Germany Germany sending postcards from Germany only costs about 90 euro each let's just take a look at the stamps that's a 45 stamp that's another 45 and that there is a 90 euro cent stamp i like this one my friend sent me this one my actual friend she is american and went over to germany last year for a visit and she decided to send me some postcards after i pestered her about it of course i don't have a portugal postcard for some reason i do have some postcards of Portugal that were given to me but not sent from Portugal but apparently it costs about 93 euros to send from Portugal all right next up we have this rather special one which I'd never thought I'd receive that is from Slovenia to send from Slovenia according to the stamp here it only costs one euro which I thought was not bad next we have France I thought I had more postcards than this, but unfortunately, this is the only postcard that I have of France that is stamped. To send a postcard from France, it costs Euro 1.30. As you can see, the prices are slowly going higher and higher, right? Next up, we have Ta -da! this and this. Both of them are from the Netherlands. I love this one. This was sent to me by the same lady who sent me that postcard from Germany. How much is it to send a postcard from Netherlands? But it costs about 1.4 euros. As you can see here, my friend decided to put two 1 euro stamps on it. When you send out any mail, and if you're not sure of the postage, sometimes it's always good to add a little bit of extra as opposed to less. But with this one, instead of 140, she just decided to stick 2 euros on it just to be safe. It's hot in here. The next one we have... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Vienna, Austria from the same friend who went to Germany and to Netherlands from Austria. It is 1.70 euros. That is a very beautiful stamp too. Look at that. Next we have Sweden. Stockholm, Sweden. From Sweden, it costs about... You can't really see the value of the stamp here. It costs about 2.2 euros to send over here. I thought that was a little bit pricey. Okay, so next up we have... Da -da -da -da, these three. First one is from Turkey. This was sent to my daughter Avril by her only pen pal. Her pen pal lives in the UK and went to Turkey for vacation and so nicely sent Avril a Turkish postcard. To send from Turkey, it costs about 3.7 Turkish lira, which is similar to the standard Macau prices, which I thought wasn't that bad. Next up, we have this rather massive one from Switzerland. So to send from Switzerland over to Macau, it costs about two Swiss franc. Um, so you can just look at all the stamps right there. To be honest, I'm quite surprised that this postcard actually made it to me because of the handwriting. Look at that, it's all scribbles. I mean, that is also how this person wrote my address. It's just amazing. Next postcard is from Poland. This is from Poland. I love this postcard. It's very, very glossy. And I also like night view postcards. I think they are awesome. So to send from Poland, it costs about six Polish zloty. Zloty. Moving on, we have the UK. Let's just take a moment to admire how beautiful this postcard is first. Isn't that beautiful? This postcard actually belongs to my daughter as well. I sent this postcard to her when I was in UK a few years ago. I think it was three years ago. I think their prices have increased since then, but three years ago, this postcard only cost one pound to send over to Macau which I thought was not a bad price. Now it costs about 1.25 pounds to send over to Macau. This is one from Scotland. 
you can see the stamp. I'm not sure whether that says 1.05 or 1.25, but according to the sources that I have, right now it costs 1.25 to send from the UK to me here in Asia. Next up, we have these rather special ones. Da -da -da -da. So let's start with this Mexico. This Mexico one, I love the handwriting. Costs about 17 Mexican pesos to send over to Macau, which is about the price of a 3D Macau postcard. So I thought that wasn't too bad. There's my Mexico postcard. And then we have Cape Town, South Africa. Again, it's just one of those places that I'd never thought I'd receive a postcard from. There isn't any postage price on the stamp. But I think it costs about 8 South African dollars to send over here. And then the next one we have Antigua. This is such a beautiful postcard. I love the vivid blue color on this thing. This was sent to me by an ex-staff. So from Antigua, it costs about 90 East Caribbean cents to send over here to Macau, which again, I thought was a bad price. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Australia and New Zealand. I'm not too sure how much it is from Australia to Asia. I know sending from Australia to the US, UK, and other European countries is higher than it is to send from Australia to Asia, but I'm not too sure how much exactly it is because apparently there are different prices. I think it depends on where you are in Australia because I've had different people who sent me postcards with different rates on them. But the price range is anywhere between 2.1 to about 2.4 Aussie dollars. Let's take a look at these two first. So this is one from Gold Coast. This was actually a surprise. A student of mine sent me this who is only about 11 years old she went online and got the address of the english center that i was teaching at and just addressed it to me it's really so touching so that is one from gold coast and this one i'm not too sure where this one is both of them are only 2.1 australian dollars to get to me this other one, I can't remember now which part of Australia she's at. I don't think she is from the Great Barrier Reef area, but it cost her $2.30 to send over to me. The next one, I'm not too sure whether she was misinformed by the post office. I think this was her first time sending over to Asia. Not sure. But this one is a little bit more pricier than expected. This is 3 Australian dollars. Um, it shouldn't really get to 3 Australian dollars according to my sources. To send a postcard from Australia to Macau, it should only cost maximum one postcard, of course, 2.4 Australian dollars. Then let's go to Kiwiland. That is Cathedral Cove in New Zealand. I'm not exactly sure which part of New Zealand that's in, but this one costs her 2.20 New Zealand dollars to send over to me. This other one I thought was a little bit weird. This is from Wellington. This was sent to Avril by her grandma. And this one costs two New Zealand dollars. Only two New Zealand dollars. And it has a fast stamp here and another fast stamp there. I didn't know you could actually have fast, fast deliveries on postcards. So I thought this was a little bit weird. And the stamp here does say priority which again, I didn't know postcards could have that option. But yeah, this is only two New Zealand dollars to send over from Wellington to Macau. Moving on, the next batch of postcards is Canada. I don't know why, but it seems like Canada has crazy postage prices. They by far has the most expensive postcard rates let me show them to you <laughs> these ones here i think are the standard canadian stamps i'm especially loving this one over here i think it's quite cool if you look closely at them right they cost 
2.5 Canadian dollars to send over to me here. That's such an exaggerated price for a piece of postcard. Canada, lower your postcard rates, man. It's so expensive. You are actually putting Canadians off in sending postcards. It's just bloody expensive. 250 Canadian dollars. And yet your postal services take so long to deliver stuff. You know, in Macau and in Hong Kong, every time I go over to the post office and they see the word Canada on any piece of the envelopes that I have, they always tell me, you know it's going to take ages to get to Canada, right? With postage prices such as these, I mean, why is it taking so long to get to Canada, you know? To be honest, I actually do not like sending mail over to Canada anymore because from Asia or from Macau over to Canada, it could take more than a month on a good day. Let us talk about the last batch that I have and I think you can guess which one I'm going to talk about. U.S. I am loving this postcard. You cannot see it, but it's got glitter. I love glitter postcards. Does not mean that I love glitter on its own, okay? Do not get any ideas, but I do love glitter postcards. So to send a postcard from the US, it costs about 1.15 US dollars. And these are usually the standard stamps that are used. I believe these are what they call the international forever stamp and again for each piece of postcard it only costs 1.15 US dollars to send overseas. I suppose I shouldn't say it only costs because apparently within the US it only costs about like 35 cents or something like that if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, so that's 1.15 US dollars. If you don't have any of these forever stamps, you could combine some of your smaller denomination stamps as long as the total amount is 1.15 US dollars. So let's take a look at some of these. You could use any sort of denomination as long as the total amount is 1.15 US dollars. I personally like it when people use different denomination stamps. On their postcards because I always see these two stamps to be honest it's getting a little bit boring so I do prefer it when people send over stamps like this because it just looks so colorful those are all the postcard price comparisons from different countries one tip for you guys though if you are sending multiple postcards to the same person I would advise you to put them inside an envelope just to save on postage Let's take this for example. These three envelopes are from the US. And if you can see them, all stamps are 1.15 US dollars. What is inside them? All right, so let's look at this first one. Inside this envelope, there are three postcards for the price of 1.15. In this other envelope, I also have three different postcards. And again, this one also only costs 1.15 to send over to me. The third and final envelope that I have also has three postcards for the price of one. Oh, actually there are four in this one. Whoa, look at that. That's a bonus. There are four postcards in this one envelope and it also only costs 1.15 US dollars to send over. If you're sending someone postcards and they don't really mind that you put them all in an envelope or they're not really bothered about whether it should be written and stamped, then I advise you to put several postcards into an envelope to save on postage. Even for myself here, if I were to send postcards over to other people, one postcard, again, like I said, is $5.50 to send. If I put two or three postcards, it would probably cost me about $9.50 or $11.50, which is still cheaper than sending three postcards individually because three postcards would cost me $16.50 to send over. So $16.50 minus $9.50, I save $7.00. So if you really want to save on postage, I suggest that you put at least three postcards into an envelope to make that 1.15 US dollars work for you or to make, you know, your own currency work for you. So that is it. I've shown you 
some of the postcards in my collection. If you want to join in the fun and receive international mail and yet do it on the cheap, send postcards. Send postcards. I've just given you a variety of prices for comparison from different countries. It does not have to be expensive to experience the joy of international mail. These postcards come in all different sizes. It will make you feel like you have traveled the world without ever even having to leave the comfort of your homes. One final question for you. Am I a postcard enabler? Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this particularly long episode. I apologize for it for going on for as long as it did, but I hope everyone had fun looking at my postcards and the stamps on some of them. This is fun! Sending postcards is fun! It is. It is. No, I am not an enabler. But if you want to receive a postcard from me, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to send you one so just to get you know your collection going, especially if you don't have any postcards yet from Asia. I will be much privileged to be your very first Asian postcard. Okay? All right then, so in the meantime, goodbye everyone. Thank you for watching and um, have a good day. Have a good night. Enjoy your day. Goodbye.